What's up guys? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here. We're back with chapter 21, The Flooded City, all collectibles for The Last of Us Part 2. Now this is a pretty standard level, lots of stuff happening, but it happens pretty slowly, and before you know it, it's over. So I do want to remind you, all non-essential gameplay and cutscenes have been removed, and we've also sped this video up ever so slightly, but most importantly, we got some quick links down below in the video description if you need them. Now, as soon as we begin this chapter, we're actually going to find ourselves following the far right wall of these crazy rapids and making our way over to this little container, or I guess it's a semi-truck, tipped over on the side uh, with the open door. It's open for uh, business, I guess. We're going to go ahead and hop in there and grab the first supplement, which happens to be an eight-piece. Now, a lot of this level consists of us making our way through the level in this boat. At one point, the boat even dies on us, and we have to rip that cord a couple of times to get her going again, but we get her done. Now, uh, there is only one point of enemy contact that is edited out. There is, uh, well, maybe, maybe two, actually. But the, the, So there's not a lot of action in this level. A lot of collectibles, though, which is pretty sweet. So, All right, make your way inside what appears to be a library or something, perhaps. We'll go in kind of back to the right and then a hard left over the weird barbed fence. Down and around this crazy, it almost looks like a, a ride at Disneyland, if I'm being honest. We drop down and hop out of the boat as soon as we get to this door on the right. And inside, we're going to find trading card number one. Nope, not there. And the other, that eh, got me. Sometimes those doors get me, i got to be honest. At the same time, though, I'm always looking for craftables and other things to add to my inventory. All right, once you got that trading card done grabbed, go ahead and make your way towards the chain link fence, which will be our escape path. But today, or I guess right now, we're not ready to go there just yet. We're actually going to go up and... As we get upstairs, the window presents us with our journal opportunity. So go ahead and scribble some notes down there. Over to the right, there's actually this little cart that we can slide around. We're actually going to need it for two things. One, to get it away from that hole so we can sneak through to the other side. And one, to go ahead and hop up into that air duct vent up above next to this dead body in the corner. Before jumping up on that, though, make sure you grab the artifact on the ground. And be careful not to slide that uh, cart over the top of it. It'd be the worst. Blocking your own collectible. -ish. All right, hop up on top and slide into the duct. And look at that in the back. We got a hammer. That's right. And a couple of weapon parts. And some craftables, too. I am all full up. But not for long, though. We actually encounter a giant shambler, I think is the name of it, here in a little bit. And, of course, I've got terrible aim. So, like, I missed the first Molotov. But I, I probably should have waited to let you see that live. It was pretty hilarious when it happened. I got a fun story to tell you once we get there, too. All right, remember that cart we moved? Climb under the debris that was left behind, and actually you'll find yourself with a little drop down, and once we get down there, we've got a scythe. That combo for that's going to be 70, 12, 64. And inside, we're going to find some weapon parts and some supplementage. And once we go ahead and crack this bad boy open and swoop up all the goods, we're actually going to be able to go to that chain link fence, lift it up, and then depart from this little store here, the warehouse, if you will. All right, grab the ammo, the weapon parts, which is a seven piece, and supplements, which is a total of 17. I got to be honest, at one point it tells us how many supplements we have. I think we've got like 680 right now. I'm not sure I've even spent one supplement on Ellie yet. I, I know I've spent some weapon parts. I don't think we did any supplement upgrades, but hey, that thumby helpful tip reminder is actually an indication that it's going to be a minute or two before we get to the next collectible. So if you are in a hurry, feel free to use those quick links. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and lift up that chain link fence with that chain rope. Got a lot, lots of chain going on here, I guess, huh? And uh, we'll go ahead and vroom, vroom, right out the door here. Woo to the hoo. All right, take a hard right as soon as we come out. And as we go down the rapids, we're going to come around the corner. And this is where our boat goes kaput. We're going to go ahead and give a couple of tugs. Giggity. And uh, once we successfully get it riled up again, we'll go ahead and follow the left fence line, which actually has a hole in it. And then we'll continue to follow it on the left side. Sorta. We're, we're going left. We don't hug the wall, but we do go left. You can see I go to the right of this middle debris. But on the left-hand side is a blue building. Inside that building is going to be Workbench 1. Now, this should be your 12th Workbench. And when you walk up, a trophy achievement is likely to ring off for you. Uh, to be completely honest with you, it actually rang off for me when I was doing my trial run. It's called In the Field, and all you have to do is get a visual of it, and you should ring it off. 
Now, there are some weapon parts in here, totaling 18. There's a couple on the shelf sitting right there up top, but there's also a few underwater. I went ahead and did a scan for you to kind of give you a visual, and I highly recommend you do that as well. Now, now as we hop back in the boat and head out to our next supplement pickup, I do want to note that if you are curious, like let's say you're not able to scan, scanning is R1 followed by circle for collectibles. In order to make it good like us, you have to go to Options, Accessibility, Navigation, Transversal, and Enhanced Listening Mode on, and then move that scan time to 30M, or 1S, and the range to 30M. All right, uh, these supplements are actually in under this little parking garage here. There's a total of nine of them, a six and three singlets. Go ahead and swoop those up. And remember I mentioned there's a giant shambler coming up? Yeah, that was uh, a little sketch of him. So with that being said, I'm going to recommend you guys make some Molotovs. Now, as it sits, I think two should probably do a majority of the damage. Three would probably do them done did, but I got to be honest. I Like I said earlier, I yeeted a little too hard, and it goes right over his shoulder. Now, fun story for you. We're not there yet, but fun fact. I actually threw uh, one right over his shoulder in the scout run when we were scouting around. Yeah, and I did it in this one, too. All right, out back and around here, we're actually going to find ourselves finding some uh, some turmoil over on the side. There's actually some strangers and what appears to be some WLF soldiers, and uh, or maybe. I, I guess I'm not sure who it is, but there's some people over there fighting. We're going to avoid them for now. Go over to the left-hand side where there's this giant train derailed, kind of hanging down. This is kind of fun. We actually go all the way up to the very top, and we find a rope. We're going to take said rope, wrap it up, and turf it over the little sunroof here, which is going to go out and over the outside of the train. Now we can go ahead and advance to that rope, hit the X button, and climb up to the top. We're going to move over to the right and drop into the other little skylight here, which Muyuka Shao on the seat right in front of us is going to be some supplementage. And then right behind us is an artifact. Now that was kind of a wonky collectible quick link, but I wanted to make sure that uh, both quick links had enough time to kind of, uh, I don't know, see what was going on. Last thing you want to see is uh, see the collectible as it's being picked up, right? You kind of want to know where you are. All right, go ahead and drop it like it's hot off the top there. Don't look below, especially if you're afraid of heights like me. And then we'll go ahead and swim back over to the boat. And then we're going to take it about 100 meters to our right, maybe not even that. And Oh, yeah, check this out. I hit the triangle button. I am so stuck. I cannot move right now. And look at her face, too. That kind of, that's kind of how I felt, if I'm being honest. I was like, oh, crap. Gonna have to load last checkpoint or something. Eventually, the animation kicks in and we climb into the boat. We're just gonna come right over here, like I said, not even 100 meters over to the right hand side under this building. Now, where you park it is up to you. We park right here, hop out, take some cover, and immediately get rushed from behind. But as I mentioned earlier, all non essential cutscenes and gameplay have been removed. So, all the baddies have been eradicated off screen here. We're actually gonna go right up those stairs that were right behind us, smash this glass, turn a hard left. Look at that, right there on the wall is going to be artifact number four. And then before moving on, we're going to actually head over to our right where there is some uh, weapon parts on the table here. As well as some ammo and a melee weapon. Let's see here, I think there's a singlet or something. Yeah, there's a, one piece there. We're going to drop down and climb under this little metal fence. Hard left, hard left before jumping over that gap. Should be a niner sitting there as well as some craftables. And jump across that gap, we're going to actually find a couple more... Scattered throughout. We got one on the shelf here on like a speaker, a computer tower, a couple on this little server rolling around here. And then right behind us, there's a cart that should have two more. And total, you should have 15 all together. Woo to the hoo! All right, now back to the boat we go. We're actually going to be able to advance the story a little bit further now. Yeah, let's see if I can get off of this. I'm kind of kind of dry docked here. <laughs> Anyways, all right, moving along. We're going to keep on with the keeping on. We actually find ourselves inside a game arcade. Now, if you've ever been to Seattle, which I have, they are known for having a franchise. It's kind of like a burger joint. Uh, they sell alcohol and some other things there, too. But it's a giant arcade, and the place is called Gameworks. In fact, I actually had some photos and stuff of that when we went to PAX last. And this is basically Gameworks. Like, if you've ever been there you're going to look at this and go, wait a minute, like the whole everything looks like. It's not the exact layout, but it's basically Gameworks. Now, uh, inside Gameworks, on the table right there, is going to be the first artifact. Pretty hard to miss, especially if you're getting your scan on. Now, before making your way upstairs or anywhere else, take a quick peek into the kitchen and grab supplements number five for a 10-piece. Of course, lots of craftables scattered throughout the kitchen. It's usually a good place to find stuff. 
And now we're going to go ahead and make our way up them stairs. And up there, we're going to find 29 weapon parts scattered throughout. So there's like this little, uh, I don't know, some, some, some sort of like a power box there. We're going to grab one from there. There's a little, looks like pop shot over here in the corner. There's a couple under there. I think it's seven piece. And we're going to go right past the workbench. And there should be another singlet on that junction box. And then behind us on the old air hockey is going to be another 17 and a three. Total in 29. Woo to the who. All right. Workbench two. Just for you. Uh, Reese was asking too, is that Minecraft or something there? There's some sort of like pixelated character on there representing something. And now there may be something specific for GameWorks that I'm not catching. But. All right. We actually have to advance the story a little bit further. And this is where I definitely recommend getting your pistols out. You want something that's small and easy to aim that look down sight animation could take a little while with that shotgun as well as the sniper rifle you also want to make sure that you have some Molotov cocktails ready because as you push this over to where you think you're going to climb up it locks it into the ground breaks through and kicks us down below where we find that giant shambler i think that's what it is is that right all right ready for the yeet fail number two it's really only the first time you get to see it but technically it's the second one so i hit him with not not the second, but the third as well. I get a couple of shotgun shots, but you can see how long it takes me. I can't dodge and get out of there in time. So definitely not a dip, dodge, duck, dive, dodge tool. Uh, all right, we got him down. And now next, we've got a trading card waiting for pickup. So we'll go ahead and uh, I was kind of looking around. To be honest with you, I was looking to find the perfect thumbnail shot right there, which I ended up coming back after this recording and, and doing a little bit of a photo shoot, if you will. But... We're going to head over to the prize area. You guys should be familiar with this at some point or another. You probably collected some tokens or t some sort of tickets, and you probably had to cash them in. Do just that, and then this time we're going to trade it in for a trading card. Look at that. Up the stairs in the back entrance, or I guess the back office, we go. And as soon as we get up there, we're going to take a hard right all the way down to the far end. And on that wall, as soon as we get in that next room, is going to be the final artifact for this level. Now, right behind us, there should be a singlet over on the right and a singlet over on the left. It's kind of odd that they're putting all these one pieces everywhere. Grab them both up, and then we're going to head all the way down to the other end of this upper walkway. Hop over the balcony, or the counter there. Not the balcony. That was the wrong word. Don't eat yourself down below, please. Uh, go all the way to the end, and guess what? On the sink there is something. 836! That's a couple. So at some point, we'll be able to pump, 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 pump it up. And give Ellie some better attributes with our collectibles, or our, I guess, our uh, supplements. <laughs> brain fart. Old man Brian Brain strikes again. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for the Flooded City All Collectibles. Hopefully you found this video easy to follow and maybe a wee bit entertaining as well. As for me, though, that is going to do it. As always, until next time.